All right, guys, just calling you from sunny Ireland. Okay, so um, what's happened so far is that uh, I kind of left the UK. And, you know, as you know, I was in London, I got hassled, went down to Devon, uh, various other things happened there, um, some of which I can't go into. Uh, but needless to say, I had to, to get out of Dodge fast. And um, then I was staying with uh, Chris Busby, um, who uh, very kindly put me up for a little while. And, uh, and then, and then, you know, trying to look at my options, I thought I'd come to Ireland uh, because I was looking at Yahoo, uh, the Google search engine, who have decided to remove their servers from the UK to Ireland, or Dublin to be specific, because of all the hacking. Um, so anyway, I've, uh, I've sat there and I'm going to uh, follow in their footsteps, I thought, so I did. So I've been in Limerick a few days now and I'm uh, kind of looking at the options. Um, and I was thinking, well, I've got, I've got sort of uh, Irish heritage, so apparently that would allow me to get uh, Irish uh, passport. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, there, there seems to be some problem with that because uh, although we are part of a common trade area in the uh, British Isles, if you want to call it that, uh, we, uh, the Irish are basically, you know, they're saying, well, you know, they're treating me like any other immigrant that comes in. Um, it would appear um, so uh, there is something called habitual residence which uh, you know I've uh, probably not entitled to um, so uh, doesn't look like I'll be able to get the Irish passport after all um, so I am trying some avenues of uh, uh, sort of ways of sorting this out and um, one of the ways is uh, I'm contacting uh, Limerick University uh, one of the heads of uh, one of the departments there hopefully is going to get back to me and uh, kind of work out the legal situation and where I legally stand um, but um, it's not looking good at the moment and uh, I don't even think where I'm going from from here anyway kind of a little update of, uh, <laughs> of the, um, the uh, situation I find myself in uh, thank you very much security guys you've, you've done a great job there um, so anyway, like um, going on to the good news though, uh, we've got uh, the British nuclear test veterans. Uh, they're currently Cameron's been put in a corner, and because he's sort of so pro army, all of a sudden for the PR companies, uh, they've decided that uh, maybe they they will now give because they were supposed to sort out 25 million, and then they decided not to, and now they're deciding maybe to evaluate that again. It's cheap, 25 million peanuts, you know, and. Uh, you know, when you're looking at, uh, according to the U, U, you know, the, the nuclear sort of corporation's own uh, own sort of information, they they are saying, oh, well, there's going to be ten, only ten uh, generations will be affected by mutation cancers and God knows what. So 25 million should do it. And there's 3,000 people surviving, and there's descendants of others as well. So um, I don't think that 25 million is going to go too far. Uh, they're going to invest it in the middle of a recession. And uh, yeah, we'll see how long that lasts. Uh, they're expected to uh, do fundraising for the rest, which uh, if any of you guys are charities out there trying to do fundraising at the moment, you'll realize that's a tough call. Um, and because of the privatization, possible privatization of the NHS, it looks like it's going that way. Our, um, uh, the British nuclear test veterans may find that they uh, will get their 25 million spent in two minutes with new private health people. So, you know, the, the BNTV need, need uh, you know, a guarantee of free uh, sort of health care for the next 10 generations. Um, and of course, this 10 generation business, in my opinion, is only because they're taking cesium into account from a specific accident, uh, but not taking into account multiple accidents, including beta and gamma, you know, which is like uranium and plutonium that lost, last a little bit longer than 10 generations. But uh, I don't know where the, this 10 generation thing came from, but uh, it might have to do with cesium only um, or gamma, gamma radiation to be specific. Uh, okay, so on the other side of the coin, um, things livening up in Japan a little bit. Uh, Mari Takanuchi is fighting back. Uh, she's been uh, sexually harassed, she's been uh, uh, attacked, and uh, you know. Uh, David, uh, sorry, Richard Wilcox has stepped in, and he's uh, he's found out that uh, well, you know, he's 
confirmed quite nicely that the Japanese are trying to cover up the extent of the uh, radiation, you know, especially with the Tokyo Olympics coming on. You know, all our fit young athletes from around the world are going to suck up some cesium. But uh, they'll do better than the children of Fukushima, you know, there'll be less of an effect, I should imagine. Um, did hear some uh, rumours, we, we know about the thyroid cancers, but I did hear some rumours about breast cancer. Um, I don't think the Japanese health authorities are going to release that information, but the uh, um, Deutsche Welle are, are kind of looking into this, and some uh, doctors in Japan, God bless them, are uh, stepping forward, some health workers are stepping forward, to give at least anecdotal evidence, if not peer-reviewed evidence. So, um, so there is that. Um, Google, another little issue here, Google search. Uh, I've noticed, uh, you know, uh, in different countries, it, um, uh, nuclear news headlines appear differently. Um, and so the headlines, uh, you know, my, uh, my pithy headlines that I make up to put on top of uh, articles, uh, they don't appear anymore. Uh, in, in the UK, uh, well certainly in Ireland, since I've been looking. So Ireland is a place where Google, for sure, I've just been checking it out for two or three days now, um, generally gives mostly pro-nuclear articles. So go to Google everywhere in the world that you are, um, check out, um, check out the, uh, the, the, the term nuclear, um, put it uh, the option to the last hour on Google search, and uh, just see, see what you get. In the old days, you would get a good splattering of pro and nuke, and yeah, mostly pro, but pro and nuke. Uh, but now I seem to be getting mostly uh, pro nuke, and and the you don't get 10, 12, 15 pages over here in Ireland anyway. You're getting about six, um, so that says a lot. Um, there is some manipulation going on. So where we know that Yahoo's is saying no, we're not going to do that. We know that Google uh, is definitely doing that. Now in in Australia, Christina informed me. Uh, that uh, she was getting the headlines of nuclear news still, um, uh, but in Ireland, not. You know, and I'm wondering if Sellafield has something to do with that, the pollution and the stories uh, to do with that, because we don't want to annoy the poor Irish. You know, they've got enough to be be worrying about. Uh, and um, what else? Yeah, uh, Ukraine. Now, some interesting developments there. Uh, now, of course, you're probably aware that Chernobyl Children's is, uh, charity is being uh, being stopped. It has been for two two uh, sessions. To there's about 90 children now that uh, that have been affected, uh, little babies, uh, with heart operations. So uh, that's uh, that's something I'll be coming back on. Uh, and it's been I'm putting that onto nuclear-news.net. Um, you can go there and scroll through and uh, get the latest on it. Um, and while I was in Ireland here uh, on RTE, uh, they're kind of uh, very interesting. The climate deniers, uh, the smatterings of science media centre uh, uh, professionals, I use the term loosely, um, giving the information to the RTE editors. So, um, yeah, yeah, it's pretty bad actually. Uh, it's very, a bit of an eye opener, a bit of an eye opener. And I'm going to be doing an article on that. Um, Chernobyl sarcophagus, another one. Uh, Chernobyl sarcophagus, well, uh, we're talking some major fraud going on there. In my opinion, I'm just going through the, the documentation, trying to uh, double check that the, the there is a massive amount of fraud going on. Um, and, and manipulation and propaganda to do with this Ukraine and the Americans and the CIA, uh, the CIA guy getting going to Ukraine, uh, stirring it up a bit. Um, so, you know, at the end of the day, there's a lot of stuff going on, and um, yeah, yeah, I've, uh, um, I'm going to see how that all develops, and um, I certainly will be documenting any further uh, hacking and uh, stacking and giving you information on uh, how I'm doing in, in, uh, in Limerick, which, funnily enough, is uh, now a U.S. Army base. Uh, shades of Japan, guys, uh, we're, we're being, being overrun by the American uh, army which you know isn't such an issue it's just the uh, corresponding security services that are going on which brings me nicely into the NSA and Tempora doing all their hacking and uh, and there's been lots of uh, manipulation of the internet one reason why it's happening is because of Snowden and and uh, all the other Greenwald and all these great guys all these great guys so um, Anyway, um, this is just a quick YouTube for my YouTube posters for if any of you are left and uh, 
uh, just let you know uh, that I'm doing okay. Uh, I'm still still fighting and surviving, still posting on nuclear news, uh, still got uh, the attitude and, and more that I discover that there's really something wrong with the nuclear industry, the military industrial complex, well, they're all the same, and the banking and the insurance. Uh, well, we'll be more on that in the near future. I'm gonna try and do some proper articles and get a little bit more specific um, and, and tie some of the uh, research that I've, you know, the scrappy research that I've covered on, uh, on YouTube and on Nuclear News and try and make uh, articles uh, that maybe even the Guardian editor would be proud of, you know. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, I'm not that good. But, uh, but the research sometimes, uh, as you know, I always link and uh, it's really up to you to uh, decide for yourself to research, look up the links, you know, make sure they're worthy uh, and are the ideas worth it. Anyway, just a short note, I'll get this put up now and uh, from my uh, lovely sunny Limerick position. Got a nice little hotel. God bless you all. Take care. Keep up the good fight.